Well, the OAC got started in 1999, however, a lot of work went into it prior to that. But the idea came from just sitting around and practicing, and my assistant coach, he was with me for 21 years, great guy, Mark Heemstra. My brother-in-law, Ed Upfer, who's the father of the up for boys who came through St. Mary's and had several state championships. Really, it was the three of us together just bouncing ideas off each other and how we could do it, where we could put these tournaments. So we actually took a, a loan out from our youth club to be able to put on the first event. So, you know, we're taking a chance by taking a loan, but it, it, it worked out in the end. The OAC tournament I thought was a great idea. They did a Considering the obstacles in their path, an outstanding job of getting it off the starting blocks. People go to a tournament, they don't realize how much is involved in doing that tournament. I, I think the best part of the tournament, though, like any tournament, it gave the participants a chance to measure themselves against a certain baseline of other participants. That kind of measurement was sadly lacking below the ninth grade, pretty much. So this was a great idea, and I. That's why I went to the first one. Over the years, we've built some great relationships, and one of the big things that we did from the very first tournament was to get in touch with Brian Brakeman. Brian was doing the forecasting for the high school state tournaments for many years. I think it started in the 70s. So he was ranking these kids, and then he'd give a nice article underneath it, and by getting him to our tournament, it gave it credibility, and I think that was one of the big things that helped put OAC on the map. It was designed really for two reasons. One is it was to give recognition to the wrestlers. They weren't getting very much recognition, and they deserved a lot more. The second thing I thought was that it would help grow the sport. If you know the players, the game's a lot more interesting. The OAC, you know, they started in a small junior high, and then they just continued to evolve. They got bigger, they, had, they got more wrestlers, and then they moved into some of these arenas where they made it almost identical to the state tournament. So, and I, I think it's helped to grow the competitive nature of the sport exponentially. Not just growing the sport, it's obviously helping to grow wrestling in Ohio, but to grow the competitive nature of the sport by giving kids an opportunity to say, hey, I wanna be an OAC state qualifier. I, I think that's huge. Like my dad got me into wrestling, I got my sons into wrestling and exposed them to it. I was fortunate that they all wanted to do it. I have four boys, they all wrestled. I'm proud, right? I'm proud of my kids, but I'm not proud of them maybe the reason you think I am. I'm proud of them being great wrestlers because they've had wonderful success. But you know what? Even if they weren't, I'd be proud for them just committing to the process and going on that journey. And as a dad and as a parent, like how can you not be proud of that effort and recognizing that it's, you know, a lot of times it's, un it's unattainable, but you know how hard they're working and you know that it's gonna set them up for success in the future. You know, we're proud of them when they win, but I'm proud of a kid to see him handle a loss in a positive way. And you know, how does a kid bounce back and, and deal with that? How do they apply that to life? It's about trying to build great people. You know, starting out in a middle school gym to all areas of the state, to college arenas, is crazy to think because it's been such a journey. It, you know, it's a lot like competing back in the day. You put all the time in, a lot of people put a lot of time in and you walk out of there like, this was a great event. Whenever we can bring more eyes to the sport and more fans and more people interested in what's going on, the better wrestling is going to be. And I think that really leads to the long-term path of the OAC's mission is that we want Ohio to be the premier wrestling state in the country. And in order for that to happen, there needs to be community belief in wrestling. And I think at this rate it's growing, we're gaining these people into our sport and into our community and into our family. And I sit down with kids and I'll ask them, what are your goals? What are your goals in school this year? What are your goals you know, in wrestling? They might say, hey, I want to wrestle in college or I want to try to go Ivy League or, or whatever. You know? And I've had kids say you know, in sixth and seventh grade, I want to be an OAC state champion. And, and not to mention all the other things that the OAC has done. I mean, as far as like, providing you know financial support for kids and for programs and things like that and just generally helping out the sport right i mean it's just 25 years man that's that's a lot of helping people out <laughs> you know this being our 25th year anniversary and if i would look ahead if i was back in 99 and looked ahead and someone said but this is what it's going to look like in 25 years I never would have thought it would be what it is today. You know, we, we're just a bunch of wrestling guys that just wanted to have some fun and put the firm together and give some kids an opportunity.